Sisters, are you tired of being alone? Well, I am. What are you talking about? I'm right here. Where are all the good black men? I just can't find one. What, am I invisible or something? I got my BA from Spelman College and my JD MBA from Wharton. I'm a pew-jumping, Bible-thumping, tambourine-waving non-fornicating Christian who believes in the Lord and follows everything in the Bible. Oh. Nice. The Bible says wives submit to your husbands. I believe everything in the Bible except that part. Anyway, like I was saying, I can't find any good black man. What are you looking for? I want a man who earns six figures. That's me. A man who has integrity, good character, good credit and loves his mom. Me, me, and me. Hi, mom. A man who will pay all the bills, yet recognize I'm an independent woman. What? How can you be independent when someone else pays all of your bills? A man who can take charge, lead, and direct his household. At least until I disagree with his direction. Then he must turn over his balls and give them to me, because I'm a strong professional womanist. If he doesn't do this, I will take him for 25% of his gross income in my divorce settlement, and I will ruin his kids for life and forever turn them against him. Oh. K. A man who will make me laugh, who's a thug that can fit in with the boys in the boardroom. A man who can kick it in the neighborhood and on the golf course. Holler if you hear me. A man who can deal with all this energy and passion. You mean attitude. Don't go there. I have 911 on speed dial. I want someone who is supportive and not threatened by the fact that I have a career and am a strong independent woman. A man who knows I don't need a man and will open doors and pay for every dinner and date we go on. Wow, that's confusing. Career-minded, strong, independent woman who doesn't need a man, but you expect to have your way through life, paid for by your man. A man who won't bug me for sex more than four times a month, even though he does have 300 million new sperm pumping through his testicles on a daily basis. I only have one egg, and he better get used to being spayed and neutered during his prime, and for the next 30 years of his life. In fact, he better not even so much as look at another woman below her eyebrows. Okay. He also has to know never to ask me to put my mouth down there. Down where? That nasty thing in your pants. Nasty? Yes. Also, he needs to be man enough to deal with a heavy woman as I will probably add 20 pounds around my gut after five years of marriage. Wow. Well, you drive a hard bargain. But, because I love you so much, I'm willing to make the sacrifice. Nah. You're too weak. I need a man with the backbone who won't let me run all over him. Besides, you're not six feet five. And that's a deal breaker. Boy, I need to listen to an episode of the Philazo G's on philazog.com or blog talk radio every Sunday at 5 p.m. to get powered up again after this beatdown. They're all about empowering men to empower the family. Sister, I think I will get me a pink toe. I know. Black men can't handle a strong black woman. You're too sensitive.